Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates San Diego Comic Con 2011 Spider-Man and Fire Chief Max. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, whoa, we're like 10 almost, we're like seven years in the past. This was, of course, a exclusive for New York Comic Con which unfortunately is not really a trend we're seeing now these days. But this was just supposed to be sort of a, uh, you know, honestly, I don't really know what the point of this set was. Um, the Mobile mobile Action Extreme Minimates had came out like a year or two before this, and I guess they had a bunch of parts they could just reuse. I have had people say before, I've seen discussion and rampant um, theories that since this came out in 2011, this was like Diamond sort of monop capitalizing on the 10th anniversary of 9-11 in the States. I, 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 I doubt that. I, <laughs> I really doubt that, you guys. Um, whoever said that, you're, uh, all right then. So, this, I dig the packaging. It's, uh, this nice purplish bluish color. Fire Chief Max, uh, this guy of Mobile Action Extreme has become an unofficial Marvel character, I guess. That's not how it works. Spider Man, New York Comic Con. Yeah, Spider Man. I dig the fire helmet, which says 62. Nice reference to his first appearance. Spider Man, Fire Chief Max. I, I don't think I have any of my. Uh, Max figures still uh, complete, so I don't think we'll be able to do a side-by-side. -side. But uh, I'm really excited, because I've had this for a while, and I actually just picked up an extra from Luke's Toy Store for like three or four bucks. And let's just, I wanna just show you guys, because this is pretty sick. Just take a look at the money shot we're about to get. Look at all that stuff. Ooh, that right there. That's the good stuff. Oh, good lord, this is a wall. As a superhero in a major city, Spider-Man sees a lot of apartment fires and puts his strength, agility, and spider sense to good use in rescuing everyone who might be trapped inside the burning building. But the real heroes are the men and women who do the same thing every day, without the benefit of a radioactive spider bite. They may not be able to scale walls without a ladder or break down a door without an axe, but firefighters have truly earned the label superhero. This two-pack of two-inch Minimates minifigure pairs Firefighter Spidey with an urban fire chief and includes an axe, a flashlight, and various interchangeable parts. First up, we have Spider-Man. All right, it's Spider-Man. So this is using the open jacket design that a lot of Max figures had. The firefighters and uh, smoke jumpers, I think they were called. I didn't really know what those people were because I, uh, I live in the Midwest. <laughs> Um, but this is not bad. I, I, I like this guy. It's Spider-Man. So, of course, they've just taken the general, a lot of black, a lot of yellow. This is entirely parts reuse. He's got these boot feet, which I'm not a huge fan of, only because on him, they just keep sliding off. Like, this is, of course, an older figure, so I'm sure that's just from age. He's got a nice Spider-Man chest underneath. Got red hands. I love the NYCC 2011 on the back. Very nice detailing on the torso. Um, it's just general Spider-Man print. And then of course, Spider-Man's head underneath is just a good old Spidey. This comes from like, I guess, a weird batch because I see it on all of these where, I don't know how to explain it, but like the heads are sort of encaved on them, like they're not completely straight. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, Spider-Man. But he does have a giant hole in his head, so you gotta keep the helmet on if you are a purist. I mean, the helmet's nice, it's got the 62, because it's like, oh, Spider-Man came out in 1962. 
So, not bad, but the real question is, does he have anything on the back? No, he does not. Strange. And then, accessory-wise, this set has a bunch of stuff like I showed, so I'll try to go over what I assume came with Spidey, and what I assume came with the uh, Fire Chief afterwards. The firefighter. So, the set included an axe. This at the time was from the Mobile Action Extreme stuff. Like, those packs were decked out with accessories. Like, come on, DSD. Bring those back, please. Like, a direct-to-consumer kind of thing. I would eat them up. He's got an axe. He's also got a flashlight. This is one of those, like, flashlight you don't really hold up. You just kind of have swooped in your arms. And there is a uh, shoulder bandolier, but it's not actually included attached. So you have to actually put it together. And then a Spider-Man specifically comes with of course, like every other Spider-Man, a tangled up web line. I've, I've, like every Spider-Man these days has this. So, not a lot compared to his uh, pack inmate, if we're trying to be even. But I mean, this is probably all he needs, because it's Spider-Man, he, uh, he can do what a spider can. Our next hero is Fire Chief Max. I This guy is literally just... A generic firefighter. He is the one from Mobile Action Extreme. I'll just put a picture right here. Um, like that's it's it's the guy. I I heard a thing once that some of the figures in Mobile Action Extreme were based off of DST employees. I don't know how true that is, so I'm not gonna speak on that. But who knows? This could be a real person. I I like the open jacket more, but this definitely helps with troop building. But he's basically the exact same figure, aside from his torso, his head. Nice clothes jacket, he's got the same NYCC 2011. He's got the same boot feet, they're a little, well, they're kind, <laughs> they just slide right off. I'm not a huge fan of them. I feel like they're just missing a little, I don't know, maybe if they were a little taller, where the foot kind of just rests on, that's what I would suggest. But these are older pieces as well. Or maybe just a longer peg. He's got like a weird... They didn't do a great job with the painting on his helmet. You can see where the... I guess the neck brace that uh, the helmet would have just doesn't really mesh well with his hair. Like maybe just have it be hair. I do like the 62 again. And it's just some guy. Who is this mysterious man? We will never know. But like I said, maybe he's based on a real person. Maybe he's somebody from the DST, like, uh, designer team that was like, Hey guys, uh, we're gonna be mini-meats. But he does have an alternate hairpiece, if you so desire. In fact, he actually has more stuff than Spider-Man by far. He's got the same axe and flashlight that Spider-Man has but he also comes with extra parts. So the whole gimmick of Mobile Action Extreme was every figure... It came with two figures per pack, but it had enough stuff to essentially make three. So if you bought the police guys, it would come with like an entire extra set of SWAT armor. So it would have a cop, SWAT armor cop, and then like a full body of SWAT armor. And in the first set, they actually had Minimate frames underneath where they would use translucent pieces, so then you could just slap a head in it and be like, boom, third Minimate. One of the greatest two-packs of all time. The firefighters had something similar. I don't think they had an entire extra person, but all of the firefighters had underneath this casual outfit, which I have a ton of, and these pieces are kind of hard to get on, you can tell, and this guy also comes with You can uh, just put them with some regular feet. And again, this was the whole cool thing 
about Mobile Action Extreme. I've got a couple unopened packs, but I think I might keep them sealed for good, just because I want to keep some sort of memory of them. And yeah, here's your firefighter, completely unsuited. I do love how it's just like a completely different figure. And if you had a black body, you could just throw it underneath his armor. But he still has more. He's got two more pieces. So we actually have to turn him back to normal. Whew. Woo! Okay, we're back. So he actually comes with a few extra gear pieces when you have him in the suit. If you noticed in the production art of him, he actually had a harness on that has a flashlight, some equipment, and an air tank. I believe that's an air tank. Please be an air tank. And then he also comes with, to go with the air tank, if we can get his helmet. He's got another helmet. This one, he's like fully masked. Kind of seals his identity. You could definitely army build with this specific helmet. That's nice. Very cool. I God, I miss these guys so much. So overall, that was the Marvel Mini Mates New York Comic Con 2011. Spider-Man and Fire Chief Max. This was a really nice two-pack to look back at. I, man, I miss the mobile action extreme stuff. Come on, DST, bring it back, please. Spider-Man, he's nice. I mean, he's just, they took Spider-Man and slapped him on the Fire Chief body. That's really all they did with him. But I mean, it's not that bad. Kind of creative. I dig the 62 on it. And of course, the ability to swap parts around is very nice. You could just have a suited Spider-Man. You could have unsuited. You couldn't, I don't think you could do casual, but that's up to you. Fire Chief Max. I guess it's kind of novel since they took the generic Max firefighter and they're like, he's real. Canon. I don't I don't know what universe the Marvel Minimates exist in. But it it's neat and I I'm glad he comes with all this stuff. But the plastic on these guys is really weird quality. So stuff seems to be falling off often. Arms are mismatched colored from his casual outfit. But, I mean, it's nice. I do wish the paint job on his regular helmet was a bit better. But, you know, winners can't be choosers. Yeah. Um, it's also really cool. So there wasn't the generic packaging insert that they usually do with, like, the promotional stuff. There's just this nice starburst thing in the back. I might... I'm not going to frame this, of course, but I might, like, try to make a thing where I can, like, use it as, a, like, a display thing. It's nice. But yeah, that's what I think. I will put a link in the description, but let me know what you guys think. This is a retro, retro review. Check me on social media. Remember to check out minimatescentral.com for more great Minimate reviews. And did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.